Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video as part of my week of Disney videos in the build up to my first vlog from this year's Walt Disney World trip. So right now I am actually in Walt Disney World so if you'd like to follow along in real time do check out my Instagram account which I'll have below um, and you can yeah check out my Insta stories that I'll be updating every day and sharing with you what we are getting up to. But like I said at the end of this week my first vlog from this vlog series will go live and that'll be our pre-travel day vlog and yeah I'm very excited to share with you and I'm also very excited by the fact that when this vlog goes up I'm going to be in Walt Disney World so I'll actually go in a few days and I'm just finalizing my packing so I thought what I would do is film a packing video with you guys so all I have done so far is just laid out my clothes which is what I like to do just to see you know what I'm planning on taking with me um you know do things work together and make an outfit and I've actually eliminated a few things already just by seeing that actually I have some tops that don't go with any shorts or some shorts that don't go with any tops and so I'm not going to wear it if I can't make an outfit out of it. You may notice I have a little bit of a cold so I do apologize um I'm hoping it goes away by Friday by travel day um it's starting to get a bit better which is really good but I've grabbed myself a nice little cup of tea in my Alice mug. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be sipping on that while I get myself organized. So I think first of all, what I'll do is just show you how I've laid out my clothes so far. And um, I've laid out my clothes on my shoes um, for now, and then I'll get all those packed up. I like to use packing cubes, which you can see over here on my sofa. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get them organized, decide what I'm bringing, and then I'll start popping them into the packing cubes and then into my case. So let's get packing. So as you can see, I've just laid out all of my clothes and they're essentially kind of put together into outfits so if we start over here you see i've got this green pair of shorts underneath and then on top of it i've got two different tops that go with those shorts then i've got this white pair of shorts i've got this blue top on top this is actually the top my sister got for me and it says uh, meet me at the people mover it's really cute um and then i've got these denim shorts with two tops on top of that as well and so on and so forth i've got a couple of dresses down the end here um and yeah that just continues on round in the same format and then over here i've got my swimwear so i've got three swimming suits it might be a bit overkill i probably only need two but i just thought i might as well bring an extra pair seeing as i have it then over here I've just got some like spare shorts. So I've got two pairs of shorts that kind of go with everything. Like I know that they go with some of the tops that I've laid out already. And then I've got some spare tops. Um, I may not bring all of these tops, but I do find like I definitely need more tops than shorts in Disney because it do does get quite hot and I tend to like to change my tops when I can. So um, I've also laid out then two spirit jerseys. I've got my Buzz Lightyear spirit jersey and then I've got my... Um, uh, millennial pink no rose gold spirit jersey <laughs> rachel has millennial pink i've got rose gold and um, but i've also got my um gray disneyland spirit jersey which is actually just over here on my clothes horse drying away i think i'm also going to take that dress that's hanging beside it there so i've just got a couple of last minute items that i've just washed today but yeah that is essentially my clothes and then over here i've just got a couple of pairs of shoes so i've got my um cinderella toms which i bought last year they're so comfy i've actually just purchased some star wars toms i might actually take them in the box just so they don't get damaged and then I've got these um, Run Disney trainers. They're Cinderella themed actually as well. Um, and they're just comfy to wear in the parks. But it's kind of cute that they are Disney themed as well. Um, I do have a pair of sandals which I think are currently in my carry-on case. Um, I may move those over into my main case actually as I'm packing. So I will actually have a totally separate um, video going up tomorrow. Which will have what I pack in my carry-on case. And that'll be my carry-on case as well as like my personal items. Items. so I take a little backpack and then I take my carry-on case with me um, and I've got like some little essentials that I like to take on the plane because I get like quite dry skin and like a sore nose which is going to be even worse like because I've got this little bit of cold you can see I'm already like super red <laughs> from blowing my nose the last few days and um, but yeah there's just little things that I like to take on the plane because I like to take off my makeup and I like to just like put something hydrating on my skin and just chill out so all of that is going to be in tomorrow's vlog so make sure you check that out so I think we are ready just to start packing these away into packing cubes so I think what I'll do is just stick you on a little time lapse while I get that done. These are um, the packing cubes that I have. I've actually got two different brands, I think. Um, they're both from Amazon, um, and I'll have a link down below to my Amazon storefront where you can pick any of the items up that I talk about from Amazon. So this is Savisto, and then this one is 
Hopper Ray. And I actually think out of the two, I think the Hopper Ray um, brand is a little bit better. The zips on them I find are a little bit easier to open. You can see these zips are like just small little zips while these just have this extra little pulley on them and that is quite handy um, and I think also these ones came with um, a shoe pouch which I don't think the purple ones came with I think the purple ones had an extra um, packing cube but I just found it yet yeah, handy that this came with this and it also actually came with um, another bag the Hopperay brand also came with this bag which I've actually got my ears in right now and it's just super handy it's like a little kind of laundry bag type thing and um, yeah it's just handy to keep items like that safe Okay, so we now have the packing cubes packed up. I'll just show you what I've put in each. So I've got my swimwear in this one here. In here I've got all of my shorts and bottoms. In here I've got spirit jerseys and I've also got um, leggings. Over here is tops. The second one is tops as well. And then this one is a mix of dresses and sort of like little throw over um, tops. So kind of... I don't know what you'd call them. Basically just like really light tops that I'd throw over like a tank top or something. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. I did discard um, one top that I'm not gonna bring. And then I also set aside a pair of shorts and top that I'm gonna put in my carry-on because I just think it's good to have something in your carry-on just in case your luggage goes missing. It's good just to have like an outfit or two and just a couple of essentials that you might need if you're without a case for like a day or two. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much the packing cubes ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my case out. I've got a Tommy Hilfiger case that I've bought actually in Florida um, a couple of years ago. It's huge and it's great. It's canvas, so it's not heavy. And yeah, I just love it because it fits so much in, which is great for shopping. <laughs> I'm going to start packing is my makeup bag and then also my cosmetics um sorry the lighting is pretty bad here it's just the only area that I can really sit and do this so what I'll do is I'll um let you guys just watch as I'm putting this in and um, I do actually have something sort of already thrown in here that I'm planning to bring but I haven't actually gone through it and organized it and also added in the makeup that I actually use every day that's like sat in my makeup bag um so yeah let's get into that now so I have now emptied this out you can see it's got like a large compartment here some smaller compartments and then a brush holder up the top and um, it's got a hard case um on the outside so that keeps everything nice and safe and yeah I've just kind of like dumped everything out along the side that I want to put in there and um, so the brushes I've already sort of thrown in here this is actually a new set that I picked up which has like all of the eyeshadow brushes that I need and then I've got just a little contour brush behind there a big powder brush and um, this is sort of like a concealer kind of like blender brush and um, this is like a highlight brush and then this is a face brush I actually don't think I'm gonna need this one because i've got my beauty blender so let's take that one out and then yeah let's just start packing this stuff in so what i tend to do is just start with the big stuff that goes down the bottom here so i've got a little um highlighter palette this is from revolution and um, this is quite cheap actually but it's um it's a really nice one and then I do tend to coordinate with my sister to find out what eyeshadow palette she's bringing because we have a lot of the same palettes. I know that she is bringing, I think, Soft Glam. So I think I'm going to bring the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And then I'm also going to take this little Huda Beauty one because this is just really handy. It's nice and small. 
Um, so yeah, I'll pack that one in there. Actually swap these over because that's a little bigger. show this earlier and um, this is just a little mini mouse pouch and I've just popped in um, my uh, American curlers which I bought last year and um, it's also got my fuel rod in there um, which is just here fuel rod um, but that's essentially it actually I don't think the fuel rod can go in my check-in luggage that needs to come out so um, yeah I've just literally got that curler in there and also a plug adapter and that's basically it. That is me fully packed for my check-in luggage. The only thing I haven't done yet is underwear. I've left out um, a couple of little uh, small packing cubes that I can put my underwear in, but I didn't think you really want to see that. So <laughs> I've just, I use one little packing cube for underwear and one little packing cube for socks. And that's basically it. So yeah, um, like I say, I'm now gonna just run through my wonder list to make sure I haven't missed anything. And then, yeah, that is me good and ready to go to Orlando. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching this packing vlog. And um, this is a weird angle. I've just sort of, <laughs> it's a bit odd. <laughs> oh, I've been trying like all sorts of tripod angles trying to show you guys um, as I've been packing today. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As I said before, you'll have my pre-travel day vlog coming at the end of this Disney week of vlogs, but also there's plenty more vlogs from this week, including um, talking about my plans, my pre-trip haul, and then also my cabin. Um, case and what I'm taking with that as well as a vlog on what is in my park bag so I hope you enjoy and um, please do um, hit the like button and leave me a comment down below um, and let me know what your favorite like packing tricks are and yeah um, I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel and um, yeah thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and I'll see you real soon bye so get dressed pack your bags feel the holiday mood you won't believe what we're about to do Cause we're off, California I long to wrap my arms round you